Okay, let's look at Dave's win chart. If you're a member of Golf Clash Elite, which if you're not, what's wrong with you? Go sign up for Golf Clash Elite. Over here on the left hand side, you'll see one that says files. Click on files. And here in the files section is all kinds of useful information for Golf Clash. One of the things in here is Dave's wind chart. Um, he's up to version eight. So you wanna save Dave's wind chart. As soon as you do and you open it, this is what you'll see. The main part is your clubs. And the nice thing is you get to select all of your clubs. So like if you have something other than the sand lizard, you can click on the little box here, drop down. Oh, let's just scroll down to everybody's got a Malibu. Let's say Malibu 5. So, Malibu 5. And it automatically adjusts your, your numbers. I don't know if you can see that because the stupid pop-up box is in the way. The first thing I do is I get rid of the stupid pop-out box. box. Uh, but I don't know if they're clear notes. So, watch the numbers as I select uh, Castaway. Notice how the numbers go up because this is an inaccurate club. Um, you want to use this especially for the beginner tournaments because beginner sand wedge, you can plug in all of your beginner rough iron. Beginner pitching wedge. Beginner short iron, iron, okay. So now you actually have the numbers for all the beginner clubs. And Dave takes you out to five rings. So the nice thing is you have all five rings. And Dave also gives you a minimum power, a maximum power, and a medium power in nice easy to use lines you can take them all the way over here but then Dave also gives you the ability to just plug in one number and see all of the values for all of the clubs so I can go here and change this to 25 now my ring adjustment is up there so I know for my beginner driver, if I have a 25 mile an hour wind, I need to adjust it 8.9 rings. That's the easy part about Dave's wind guide. Um, so once you start getting higher winds, it's really hard to do the math inside your head. Like if you're having to adjust 2.8 rings every time and you have a 25 mile an hour wind, how many rings is that? Oh crap, let me figure it out. Well, I'm not fast enough to do the math in my head. So, I use Dave's wind chart. Now, Dave also gives you another calculator for 10%, 20%, 30, 40, because sometimes you need to increase, especially on uh, some of these holes where, where you're out by the ocean, you need to increase your wind 10%. And as I'm finding out on tours on tour nine and above, uh, especially tour nine, I'm having to adjust 10%. So anything, what I've found is any wind over 10 miles an hour needs to be adjusted 10%. So what I can do is put in, let's say I have a 15 mile an hour wind. So my driver's 5.4, but actually what I need is an extra 10%. So I'm gonna go over here Hopefully this is coming across on the video. And I'm going to put in 5.4. Now I've got my number 5.9. So that's actually how many rings. Instead of five and a half rings, I'm going to adjust six. So now I've got to plug in two different numbers if I want to adjust. I've got to plug in one here and one here. Um, so even this method gets to be consuming or very difficult. So what I like to do 
is I've modified this sheet. Um, this shows the golden shot just because that's what we did today was the golden shot. So what I did is I found all the clubs that match up the accuracy of the golden shot. And there they are. I put them over here on the right because I can't rename these. These are tied to the formula. So I just threw them over here on the right just to remind myself what each one is. But I also gave myself three more columns, 10, 20, and 30%, depending on how much wind I got. I wasn't sure how much wind I was gonna have. So now, with this modified sheet, I can change to 15, and it gives me all of my numbers for the golden driver. And this is what I used to uh, take my golden driver shot today. So that's Dave's wind guide and how to use it.